Hello, thank you for joining us. My name is Brian Atkinson from Configural Management. We're going to cover an SAP topic today in this video, and we're going to discuss the customer master uh, record in SAP. Specifically, we're going to go over how uh, tax categories are determined on the customer master record. This is a pretty common question I see, uh, especially from end users and often from um, programmers uh, who aren't real uh, familiar with with how the um, tax categories have, have been configured uh, for customer master records. So if you're not a configurator, uh, th this can be an area that, that maybe is a little confusing. Uh, this is a really well-documented topic uh, on the internet. There's lots of blogs that explain this really well, but uh, I thought a video would be helpful just so you can get a visual on, on, on how this works. So, so let me... Um, bring up my SAP screen and this is a so I've actually started to uh, create a new customer master record here where I'm in the uh, sales area data specifically I'm on the uh, billing documents uh, tab and it's it's this box here that that I'm talking about that that causes some confusion sometimes um, uh, users don't always understand uh, how this list got in here um, so you see I've got uh, the screen prompting me um, to provide a tax classification uh, for these four entries. I got uh, uh, th three tax categories for Canada and, and one for the United States. Um, so the answer to this is, is pretty straightforward. Uh, so so the, the way this list works is it the, the, um, the country list that you see here is dependent on the plants that are assigned to this sales org and distribution channel and the, um, and the country key for those plants. So whatever the country key is for those plants, um, uh, that's how it determines which countries. And then it, then it looks at some additional configuration to see what tax categories have been configured um, uh, uh, for, for that. And that's, that's, how you, that's how you get this list. So um, as an example, Let's, um, uh, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you um, uh, two ways here, right? So we'll, we'll go uh, um, straight to some of the tables. So if you look at um, table TVKWZ, okay, I'm going to put in CM01 and distribution channel 10, okay, and I'm going to execute that. And there you go. There are my two plants. Um, and I believe the 3,500 is my U.S. plant, and um, uh, 4,000 is my uh, Canadian plant. I might have those backwards. Um, so um, and so so that's how I. Those are the two plants. They're assigned to two different countries. So if you want to look at that in the configuration, so I'm going to go to SPRO, display the IMG, okay. And if you go to the enterprise structure. Assignment, sales, sales and distribution, and then assign sales organization distribution channel to plant. Okay, and I'm going to look up CM01, which is the sales org I'm talking about. And there you go. There are the two plants that are assigned to this sales organ distribution channel, 3,500 in Dallas and then 4,000 in Toronto. And obviously, you can tell by looking at those that that's the U.S. and Canada. But if you want to see for sure, right, 3,500 and 4,000, again, in the enterprise structure, if you look at the definition under logistics and then look at the plant configuration, okay, define plant. All right. And if I just scroll down and look for 3,500, there you are. And double click on that. Okay, country keys the U.S. and then 4,000 right here. Country key is CA. And so, so there's how I get the um, the countries. Now, if you then want to look at the actual configuration of um, for the tax categories, um, let's let's collapse this. Okay. We are going to go to um, sales and distribution right here, basic functions, taxes, all right, 
And then, then we want to look at the uh, defined tax determination rules, right? Right here at the top. Okay. And you're going to see for Canada, right, there are the three tax categories that I would be being prompted with um, uh, for Canada. And uh, for the United States, right, remember I had four total entries, so that tells me for the U.S. I probably only got one tax category configured in here. And there you are, right? So there's one tax category. So to, um, to, sh to show you a, a change in this, right, if I, if I copy that, um, uh, oh, oh, I had too many selected there. Sorry about that. I'm going to just back out of the screen and come back into it. So if I come back down to that U.S. entry, here we are. I'm going to copy that entry. Okay. And we're going to set up another one. So now I've got two entries. If I scroll up, I've got two entries for the United States. I'm going to save that, back out. And I'm going to make a second change. I'm going to go back up to my enterprise structure, um, right here, enterprise structure. And under the assignment, we'll collapse the definition. I'm going to go under the assignment right down here. My eyes focus, right? All right, so we're going to look at up CM01 again. And I'm going to actually go ahead and remove Toronto. So I'm going to delete that and save. All right. So now, if I create a customer master record, it is only going to, it's going to only see that one plant is assigned to that to this sales organ distribution channel, and that plant belongs to the United States. And then the U.S. has two tax categories, so I should be prompted for. Supp um, uh, supplying tax classification for only two tax categories. So let's let's give that a try. So I'm going to create a new record. So again, we'll get some basic in information here. Okay. Sales area data, plan documents, and now you see Canada is no longer in the list because that plant is no is not assigned to this sales organ distribution channel. Only the 3500 plant is, which belongs to the U.S. And the U.S. has two tax categories. This is the one that was there before, and this is the new one we added. And it's prompted me to provide the um, tax classification for both of those. So if I press enter, it's going to actually say that that's a required field. There you are. So it, it fills those out. So I hope that gives you a better understanding of, of how this section of the customer master record works. Um, and um, uh, if you need any help in the future, um, Configurable Management does provide uh, um, SAP services. Feel free to reach out to us. We're at cfg-mvt.com. You can email us as well. Um, if you have a QR scanner on your mobile device, you can scan that QR code here that you see on the screen and, and download our app. And these videos, um, or this video and other videos, uh, are available um, under um, the section that says Our Services. And you can click on SAP and, and watch the videos that we have provided. Thank you very much. Have a good day.